So, students moving to the next question, question number 176. Consider the molecules methane, ammonia and water. Which of the given statement is false? The first statement is the HCH bond angle in methane is larger than HNH bond angle in ammonia. In fact, all the options are related to bond angle. So, first of all, we should know the bond angle in each case. In case of methane, the bond angle is 109 degree 28 minute. If it is ammonia, 3 bond pair and 1 lone pair, the bond angle is 107 degree. The third compound given here is water in which bond angle is 104.5 degree. Now let us see the options. The first one is the HCH bond angle in methane is larger than HNH bond angle in ammonia. So that statement is true. Second statement is the HCH bond angle in methane, the HNH bond angle in ammonia and the HOH bond angle in water are all greater than 90 degree. Now see here all the bond angles are greater than 90 degree. So this option is also correct option. Third statement the HOH bond angle in water is larger than HCH bond angle in methane. In water the bond angle is 104.5 which is lesser than bond angle in methane. It means third option is the false option. This is the false statement. So correct answer of the question is option 3. Correct answer is third option. So moving to the next question, question number 177, match the compounds given in column 1 with the hybridization and shape given in the column 2 and match the correct option. Here in column 1 some compounds are given and in column 2 their shapes are given. We have to find the correct match and then take the correct option. So let us start with xenon hexafluoride, this compound is having central atom is having 6 bond pair and 1 lone pair. So according to VSPR theory the molecular shape should be distorted octahedral. Now see the second compound this is xenon trioxide. This molecule is having 3 bond pair and 1 lone pair. So correct shape of this compound is pyramidal. The third compound is xenon oxytetrafluoride. Compound is having 5 bond pair and 1 lone pair. So its shape should be a square pyramidal. The last compound is xenon tetrafluoride. The compound central atom is present in sp3d2 hybrid state but the shape of molecule is a square planar. Now let us match the correct option. A, A should be matched with 1. It means second and third option may be correct. So let us start. Second compound is xenon O3. It should be matched with 3. So for B, the correct answer should be 3. It means probability of second option is more. Now third compound is xenon oxytetrafluoride. C should be matched with 4. And D should be matched with auto. So correct answer of this question is second one. Second option is the correct answer of this question.